Hi guys. All right. If you have digestive issues a few times, at least like a few times a month, if you feel full, if you feel, uh, if you feel heavy and weighted down and stuck in life right now, I'm going to tell you something about yourself. You need to change some things. This means that your solar plexus, the yellow one behind me, which I call the epicenter of our chakras, where all energy and food and everything gets filtered. This means that you just have too much. You absorb too much energy from other people, from your food, from what you watch, from what you listen to, from who you talk to, ra -ta 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 -ta, okay? What happens is, is that through hobbies, healthy things like exercise and walking, this energy will naturally be filtered out of the body. And what happens is it either goes down into the earth, like when you go for a walk, or it'll just come out and it'll go into your aura, which is about four inches around your body. The thing is, is that if you're at a weakened state already, it may go out into the aura and then up to a week, it'll stay there and then it'll go right back into your energy and start affecting you. That's why you'll say, oh, I feel a little bit better. I, I exercised. I went to the beach. I feel great. Then the next day or a couple days later, you feel right back the same again. Okay. The digestive issues I'm talking about are that extremely full, heavy brick feeling in your stomach, even if you haven't eaten. Your stomach and your digestive kind of contracting and maybe causing you actual physical pain to some degree. All of these are signs of an overwhelmed and overloaded chakra. Well, Crystal, what can I do to help with that? Here's the answer. Meditate, bitch. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you want to go out and do a hobby that you love that can take your mind off of your problems and troubles with the intention that you are releasing this energy. Um, through meditation, I joke, but I'm serious. It's the number one way to get rid of this immediately. I'm going to do an updated grounding video um, either today or tomorrow. But I have some on my YouTube channel. And I encourage you to ground your energy, release stored and trapped energy, and shield. Okay? Ground, release, shield. Those three things will keep you in balance. A lot more I do it every morning and literally takes me 45 seconds to do I get up I go potty in the morning and I do it right then and there while I'm sitting there peeing okay but that's my way of doing it you can do it at any time you can dance through music and you know how you can get lost in a song and you're kind of just swaying and you're not really conscious of how your body's moving that right there that that mode that space that you're in of that getting lost in that song um, like drum beats or um, whatever, the best song, the favorite song of yours, getting lost in it will help you also to release some of that. So it doesn't always have to be meditation of like, um, but meditation through music and going outside and being intentional. Use your intentions because that is your power, your intention, your thoughts, your words, and all of that is your power. It's your superpower over any other force, okay? If you think that other people can really mess you up by doing hexes and spell work and curses, they can. But if you are like, I'm Teflon Don, nothing's going to get through. It is not going to be so easy because you're going to be stepping and standing and driving your car in that power. You're going to be in the power seat. Sit on your throne, babies. Kings and queens, sit on your thrones and realize that nobody can take what you don't allow them to. Nobody can take from you what you refuse to give up. You know what I'm talking about. When we get depressed and sad, we kind of don't care. So they can take what they want at that point. We just opened the buffet. Keep that buffet closed, babies. All right? Stay, stay blessed and not stressed. Love y'all. Peace. <laughs>